you some sort of curly fairy mermaid hairstyle. I'm just going to throw some extensions in my hair for some length but you don't have to do this if you don't want to and then I'm just going to go ahead and curl my hair and today I'm going to use my Hot Tools curl bar but you could use any type of curler so if you want to see me create a fairy mermaid kind of hairstyle just keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and just loosely curl my hair and I'm just going to back comb the roots as well for a bit of volume. Then once I've got a section curled, I'm going to go back and just run my fingers through the curls just to loosen them up a bit and then I'm just going to repeat these steps until I reach the top of my head. So once I reach the crown area, I'm going to section my hair into a deep side part and then I'm going to section my hair from ear to ear and I'm just going to tie these front sections out of the way for the moment. Next, I'm going to just back comb the crown area a little bit just for a bit of volume and then I'm going to just flip it over and smooth it out and then I'm going to loosely curl it too. Then once I've got all my hair curled, I'm going to just lightly twist a little section of hair at my crown area. I'm going to pin it in place to create my bump and I'm going to repeat this on the opposite side. Next, I took a little section of hair behind my ear, just lost the clip, and I just began twisting it. And then after I twist it, I'm just going to lightly tug on this strand of hair, and then I'm going to clip it over my little bump. Then I'm just going to repeat these steps two or three more times. So I'm just going to take a section of hair, lightly twist it, tug it, and then just pin it over the back of my head. Now that I've done three little twisty sections, I'm now going to change up my technique. So I'm just going to take a section of hair on either side of my head, just behind my ear, and I'm going to tie them into a little ponytail. So once you've got your little ponytail, you're then just going to flip the ends through the little gap, and then I'm going to just tighten my ponytail. And then I'm going to just gently tug on the edges just to make it nice and messy and so that it has a bit of volume. And then basically I'm just going to keep repeating these steps until I run out of hair. So just take two sections of hair from either side of your head, tie them into a ponytail, flip the ponytail through and then just tug on the edges just to give it a bit of volume. Once I get down a bit, I find it a bit hard to keep tying the ponytail, so I'm just going to flip my hair over my shoulder and then again I'm just going to tie one or two more little ponytails and I'm going to flip them through and then tug on my ponytails again. So once I run out of ponytails, this is what my style now looks like, so now I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the front section. I'm going to just curl the side with the least amount of hair and I'm going to pin it back into my braid. And just have fun with this section, you can pin it any way that you like, or you could also do a braid if you like, it's up to you. This is what it now looks like once I've added in the little side sections, and now I'm going to move on to the last bit of hair. So I've just got two purple ribbons, and I'm just going to clip them at my part here. Then I'm going to take a section of hair divided into three and I'm going to place one of the ribbons under the middle section and one over the middle section. Then I'm going to go to my outer strand and I'm going to bring it under the middle strand, over and under the ribbon. And then I'm going to go to the opposite side. So add a section of hair to your outer strand, bring it under the middle strand, over and under the ribbon. And now we're back to the opposite side. So again, add some hair to your outer section and then we're going to bring it under the middle strand, over and under the ribbon. Add some hair to your outer strand and bring it under the middle strand, over and under the ribbon. And it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing here, so if you're unsure on how to do a five strand braid, I'll leave a tutorial in the little eye box up above here and in the description box if you want to check this braid out. And again, you don't have to do this braid if you're finding it a bit difficult. You could do any type of braid here. You could do a French braid or a lace braid or a fishtail braid, whatever you prefer. 
So I'm just going to keep repeating these steps and I'm just going to tie my braid off. Finally to finish my style I'm just going to bring my braid back and just kind of hide it under some of the twists. Then I'm just going to clip it in place and then I'm going to take the clip out of my ribbon and tie the two little sections into a knot and clip the ends under my braid. And here is my finished mermaid fairy style um, before I've added any flowers to it. And I forgot to mention, to remove the elastics from the style, I usually use a seam ripper just to kind of snap them and they come out nice and easy. And finally, here is my completed fairy mermaid style. I hope you like it, guys. I had so much fun making it. And if you do, as always, don't forget to give this tutorial a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more tutorials from me. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to comment down below if you have any hair requests. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys, and have a lovely day.